So I believe you've seen this type of highlights in Mr. B's video, and you've been wondering how you can create this type of highlight effect without breaking the bank or using any complicated software like Premiere Pro or After Effect. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this type of highlight using CapCut. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you need to do is to open CapCut, then drag the video you want to use to the timeline. So I'll be using this particular video and I want to highlight the person in the video. So what you need to do next is to make a duplicate of your clip. So just hold the Alt key, then click and drag and place it on top to create a duplicate. Then what you need to do is to find the place you want the highlight to start from. So I want mine to start from this particular place. So I will trim all this part off. So just press Q on the keyboard to trim that part off. Then I will move my player to where I want my highlights. Also stop then I will trim all this part off. So let me trim it off so the next step. You have to remove the background from the object that you want to highlight. So I want to highlight this particular person. So I will remove the background. So go to basic. Then go to remove background. So we have two options here, which is the auto remover and the custom remover. So if you are removing the background from a person, object just like my own, you can use the auto remover for it. And also if you are removing the background from complex objects like cars, bags, houses, you can use the custom remover. So for this particular tutorial, I'm going to use the auto remover. So just come and click on this checkbox here. And also, if you want to learn how you can use the custom remover, I have a complete CapCut course. So I'll put the link in the description. So after removing the background, what you need to do is to change the color of the object. So you come to adjustment. Then you go to curves. So here's Kev so, you have to play around with the Kev to get the exact color that you want. So you have to play with it until you get the color that you want. So let's say, I want to use this particular color for this tutorial but you can play around with all the curves and all of them have a different color that you will get. So I want to use this particular color for this video. So we have to trim our B-roll footage a little bit so that the effect will be very sharp. So hold the shift key then press the right arrow key. Then I will trim all this part off. So now we have to add some glow to our effect. So we have to add some glow to it. So what you need to do is to go to effect. Then you can add an edge glow or you can look for any glow effect in CapCut, then use it and also, note that this particular effect is a pro version, so you need to buy the pro version of CapCut before you can export your videos. So let me add this particular glow effect to my object. So as you can see our glow effect has been applied, so you can come to this particular place, then use this slider to increase the intensity of your glow, or you can decrease it so depending on what you want. So I will leave mine at 70. So our video is a little bit long, so let's trim it a little bit. Or if you want your effect to be like a flicker effect, you can extend your video a little bit just like this. Then you make multiple splits. So after making multiple splits, so what you need to do we will delete this second one, then leave the third one then delete the fourth one. Then delete this one too, so you will have something like this. So, you can add some sound effect to it to spice things up. So let's go to audio. Then you can look for any sound effect you want to use. So for this particular video, I'll be using the money checking. So I will add it to my timeline. So just place your playhead at where the first clip start from then you can add your sound effect. So what you need to do is to trim it a little bit. So I'll trim this part off. Then come to the start and trim this part off. So you can make multiple duplicates of your sound effect. So just hold the Alt key click and drag to the next one. Then it will make the duplicate. So let's make the third one and also the fourth one. So depending on what you want and how you want your glow effect to be, just play around with the settings until you get what you want. So this is how you can create this amazing highlight effects you usually see in Mr. Beast's video using CapCut. So if you like this video, kindly give us a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So see you in the next video.